Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to make a very nice pale purple Christmassy set. So I'm using Escape With Me from Seminac and I've got 1323 shade from Cloud Beauty, which is a white color, just a plain old white. It doesn't have to be the same companies. You guys can pick out any colors you want. And we're going to get right into the nail design. So for today, I'm actually going to apply the purple on all four of those nails. And we're going to have one full white nail. And the only reason it's going to be white is because I was using that nail for an ombre. And I quite like to do a white background. Especially for, to be honest, all gel polishes I was going to say. Especially for pale to kind of help the colour build up much quicker but actually I like to use it for quite bright neon colours too. It's just my little quick technique of helping myself not have to apply a bunch of layers of like my sponge method of ombre and instead I can just do a few layers and it's instantly the colour that I want it to be which is amazing. So I'm just going to finish those nails and I'm going to pop them into the lamp. I will go ahead and apply a second layer off camera. And then I'll be back with you guys with those nails. However, they won't be cured because, of course, we're going to sugar a nail today. Just like my good old fashion, we're going to sugar a nail. And today I wanted to pick out a glitter I haven't used for a long time. And we've actually got two glitters today. So you can see that in the background. We've got a nice fine uh yeah just some fine glitter it's a very nice kind of purpley glitter it looks like a mixture between a few colors some pale purple some much more dark purple there we are it's a very very pretty purple and i kind of wanted to pick out a glitter that's the most closest to the gel polish i'm using so that was the closest one i had in my collection at the moment that would match up with this gel polish and then the other glitter that we have is actually a chunky like a mix between fine medium hex um small hex and all of that good stuff and we're going to use that as a bit of like a background for a snowflake nail that we're going to do later here it is how pretty is that so we've got all those nails cured now and i'm going to apply some of my miley base coat and we're going to do two nails that are going to be identical so i've got one already chin in the background and now we're working on the first one so i'm going to apply a fairly generous layer of a base coat on my first nail and that's going to work as our glue nail to what we're about to apply for the glitter <laughs> so I'm going to use an art brush I'm going to dip into the base coat just gently just to kind of give that little stickiness so it's much easier to pick up the glitter and what I'm going to do is start off with the bigger the most largest um, sized hex in my glitter. And I'm going to start to kind of place it around the nail, not too close to each other, but not too far. This is probably this bit is probably entirely up to you. One time I was trying to skip this bit and be much more quicker and I just decided to tip a bunch of glitter on the nail and then I thought it's fine. I can just sprinkle it on and then I'll just move about my nail brush and we'll be good to go. Don't do that. <laughs> it was a big mistake for me. <laughs> I just ended up with way too much glitter and it was just so much effort to kind of spread it around so instead I place the biggest hex glitter that I have first and then in between the hex glitters I'm picking up the smaller little chunks of glitter in there and just placing it around so you want to repeat that on both nails I'll only show you guys this first one because this takes forever I really fast track this bit it took quite a lot of time but I do feel like it's quite effective with um, the snowflake that we're going to do later on especially as we are going to actually matte top coat this nail and then do a glossy kind of nail art snowflake on top to really give that texture that little layers of different things going on in the background it's going to look super super cute so the glitters that I'm actually using today are from Larissi I'll have a link in the description for you guys if you want to give them a little go they're basically a wholesaler website but they do offer very small little packs for incredibly affordable prices so in case you want to get into the glitter business and want to sell them or in case you just want to grab some glitters for your glitter collection for your nail art that is literally the place to go they have thousands probably not thousands but hundreds of different glitters and they also get involved in glitter mixes so you can actually basically get ready-made mixes which is so fun so now it's time for my ombre nail this bit i ended up actually trimming um i ended up not being in shot and it just became a bit of a mess so i only show you guys the first little bit here's my sponge i'm applying the two colors i want i'm just dabbing it on the nail then i'm going to sprinkle on some clear acrylic then i'm going to pop it into the lamp since i'm using clear acrylic i do like to double cure it just because i feel like i've got two different products going on and i really want to make sure it cures and then you want to literally repeat this process until you're happy feel free to skip the clear acrylic in between the layers if you don't want to sometimes i do that depending it just kind of feels like if i do a few layers and i'm not seeing it build up i decide to skip on the acrylic and just do a few layers of normal sometimes it helps sometimes it doesn't i feel like it's all down completely to the gel polish you have and um the pigment and everything all down to 
onto the gel polish. So we've got it all done. It's in the background. Now it's time to work on the four simple purple nails. So I'm using a very long nail art brush. Literally a game changer for me for doing straight lines as you can tell. And I'm going to do a very thick line going from kind of a bit more on the right hand side and as you can see I've done two lines next to each other but then I'm going to colour in the centre which I ended up doing off camera it was just quite time consuming and <laughs> uh, the gel polish that I'm using is the Glitter Bells Unbelievable Gel and it's quite thick and I just this brush is very kind of not very good actually so um, I ended up having to go off camera I ended up getting it I think I'm maybe on a sheen but it's not the best quality and it was kind of like half of it's actually ended up breaking off after that design i don't really know what happened so yeah i don't recommend that one just get any other one that's long <laughs> so as you can see with that nail i ended up doing some additional purpley lines there off camera too and um that darker purple is also a glitter bells unbelievable gel actually so i'll have a link to their website down below do give them a go if you are into nail art those are literally to die for when you do nail art if you're doing it by hand in particular those are literally the best thing ever i haven't actually tried other companies but glitter bells for me are a trusted you know um 100 this will work for you i feel like so do give them a little go they're super fun and they've also the pots actually offer you a lot of gel polish like it's it's a lot. <laughs> I've only ever, um, I pretty much use white in almost all of my videos, if not, yeah, if not all of them really. And I've still got like half the pot ready to use still, so it's going to last me a very long time. So now that we've kind of cured the matte top coat, time for the snowflakes. So unbelievable gels, cure the tag free layer. Make sure you cure these for 60 seconds because they're so much more pigmented and thicker. You want to make sure you cure them for longer. And I'm going to do a snowflake. So I'm going to start off with a snowflake little hands, <laughs> little stems. I don't know what you want to call these. So I'm going to start off with one at the top, top right hand side, a big one. We're going to slightly flip it on the other nail. So we're going to do the bigger snowflake a bit more on the left hand side. And then the smaller one will be a little bit on the right hand side. Um, but I think I only show you guys me doing this, this one in only and then the other one i do off camera but i'm starting off with my little hands in case you're worried you can cure the first one before you go in with, in with the second one but i felt quite adventurous today <laughs> and thought i could do it so i didn't have to cure it and then i'm going in with a dotting tool and i'm just going to add two dots on each of those little branches and that's it it's the most quickest and easiest snowflake but i feel like it's so effective it's so cute make sure you're picking up a dotting tool that's the right size i have before tried to do this snowflake with ended up being a way too small of a dotting tool and my little branches were a bit too thick and you couldn't really see the little kind of outline of the circle so make sure you pick up the right dotting tool and not do the same mistake as me <laughs> so you want to do it on both of the snowflakes top one and bottom one and like i said i'm also going to repeat this on the other now that we've got chilling in the background there as well just flip them around and then make sure you cure them for 60 seconds the amount of times i've forgotten i've put them in for 30 seconds and then i went to wipe them where i did something and it went off half of it ended up curing half of it didn't it's that kind of in between where it's like semi-cured funny little little time there <laughs> so make sure you don't do the same mistake as me so now it's time to cure these and there we are and also added some additional little little kind of what would you call these those are probably stars in between the snowflake now that they're out i'm going to apply some crystals and i've got some cute little clear crystals that i'm going to place in the center of the two snowflakes only i was considering scattering them around in between the snowflake and the little stars that we've created but it kind of looked a bit too much so i ended up passing on that idea <laughs> um i would have loved to do it though because you know me i like when it, things are extra but i did find that that was a little bit too much i guess you could also maybe place the crystals in the center of those little stars if you wanted to but that's completely all up to you so whilst that is curing we can work on our next nail so for this one super simple easy crystal placement we're going to incorporate i think some opal crystals and some clear crystals in this one and you just want to place the largest crystal first and then we're going to mix and match it we're going to have an opal then a clear then an opal then a clear and you can continue this as long as you want i ended up just placing a few on each side and you want the largest in the center and then the further away you're getting the smaller crystals you're picking up i did end up actually off camera adding some caviar beads which was kind of like a last minute decision which i kind of finished filming and i was like oh wait i feel like the caviar beads will actually look much better with this so you guys won't see me apply the caviar beads but it's just in between pretty much all of those crystals where possible so last nail to work on is our ombre nail and for this one i decided to do like a little necklace and we're going to do a little heart crystal placement which i love doing i love hearts literally oh 
so cute and I feel like this crystal placement really kind of added to the cuteness of the set it's a very like subtle Christmassy very I don't know I just love it very curly I think here we're incorporating some AB crystals actually so that long one and the heart that we're going to place is an AB which I was a bit worried if it's gonna fit but it did actually fit in it doesn't stand out or anything and that's because I don't actually have <laughs> any clear or opal hearts or any different shapes other than round crystals so I had to make do with what I had, so I'm just placing my little necklace there, same thing, we're going to do one opal, one clear, and so on. Then I will go ahead and cure it, and of course, off camera, I added in the caviar beads. I will show you guys the final pres results in a second. So if you wanted to add the crystal, uh, sorry, the caviar beads, just make sure you stop it right now, and then you can see where I've placed them, and how much of an effect it adds. I love adding the caviar beads. If you have them, try to add them sometimes, and you see how much it just elevates your crystal placement. It's just amazing. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i would absolutely love to see you all in my next video bye guys